Stuck between dream and daylight, your brain sometimes pulls a wild move. It forgets to hit the off switch. Sleepwalking is like your body slipping into autopilot while your mind stays trapped somewhere between dreamland and reality. You're not awake, but you're not exactly asleep either. You're in this bizarre twilight zone where the brain says, yo, we're sleeping, but your muscles go, nah, let's go for a stroll. Here's the crazy part. It happens during the deepest phase of sleep when your mind should be still, like a calm lake under the moonlight. But instead, for some people, there's a storm under the surface. That storm kicks the body into gear, and without even waking up, they're up, walking, mumbling, even unlocking doors. Imagine you're dreaming of brushing your teeth, and suddenly you're actually standing at the sink, toothpaste in hand, with no idea how you got there. That's the spooky magic of sleepwalking. Your brain gets stuck between two worlds, like a frozen computer screen glitching between two programs. Now this usually hits kids more than adults because their brains are still figuring out the on-off switches of sleep. But stress, sleep deprivation, or apparently even just sleeping in a new place can throw anyone off. It's like your brain gets homesick and forgets how to properly shut down. And no, sleepwalkers aren't faking it. They aren't being weird on purpose. Their brains are literally malfunctioning in the most harmless, haunting way, like a ghost in their own bodies. Some people have climbed out of windows or cooked full meals while sleepwalking. Imagine waking up to a perfectly toasted sandwich and absolutely no memory of making it. That's how real this gets. And here's something wild. Your brain knows how to protect you. That's why most sleepwalkers don't usually get injured, even if they're out and about. But sometimes that system glitches too and things can get dangerous. That's why some folks lock their doors on the inside, hide their car keys, or even sleep with alarms on their bedroom doors. So yeah, sleepwalking isn't just quirky or harmless. It's your brain stuck in a limbo where dreams blend with hallway lights and kitchen tiles under bare feet. It's terrifying, fascinating, and kind of beautiful all at once. Your mind wants to rest, but your body doesn't get the memo and sometimes that misunderstanding writes the strangest midnight stories.